This is Andrew Gluck. I'm the CEO of Advisor Products. It's really a great pleasure. It's a privilege to have your support and your trust. And I really feel like we're on an important mission here. The purpose of this webinar is to tell you why it's in actually your best interest to upgrade to FACS and allow you to benefit from our partnership with Constant Contact. In February, Tim McNamara from Constant Contact called Steve Gordonson, my partner in Advisor Products. And that led to us to begin a partnership that's going to really, I believe, help transform the way advisors use email marketing. Tim brought Alex Stern on a call with us, and Alex Stern is one of the three co-founders of Constant Contact. And he's, as it turned out, Tim had spent five years in business development and operations at Schwab. Then he spent 10 years at UBS, Morgan Stanley, and Wachovia. Went on to become an internet entrepreneur, built the first online divorce platform, and now for the past year, He's headed up business development for North America and Latin America for Constant Contact. So Tim has got this amazing experience as an advisor plus a marketing expert. Now, he had been tracking my work since 1997 when I was covering Bob Retail was competing with RIAs. Tim told me when we had that first call that he had been a fan of mine since then. And look, I can't make this stuff up. That's what happened. And Tim said that when he stumbled into Advisor Products integration, because we had published something about it, a blog post, and saw the integration with Constant Contact, he was thrilled to learn that it was me who was behind this. And that's when Alec chimed in and said, hey, the Advisor Products integration of Constant Contact was the most seamless integration of Constant Contact that he'd ever come across. So obviously, I was pretty happy. Constant Contact is a publicly held company with 600,000 small business clients and 5,000 partners. It can partner with anyone in the financial services business. But Tim and Alec valued Advisor Products' unique ability to create content. They spent three months crafting a partnership agreement with me that is going to ensure that if I'm going to win, they're going to win. But more importantly, it's a really big win for Advisor Products clients. I need you to recall with me, please, what was happening six years ago. Lehman Brothers had just fallen, AIG was collapsing, and the world economic system teetered on the edge. I decided to do a webinar and invite advisors and thought leaders and coaches to wealth management professionals. Now, as usually happens, when you set out to help others, you wind up benefiting yourself. That first webinar was so well received that I've been doing them weekly for six years ever since. The webinars actually became Advisors for Advisors, this website that's a continuing professional education portal that I started about five, six years ago. And that has disrupted professional education of financial advisors because it makes unlimited educational content available to wealth management professionals 24-7. And it does it direct from the thought leaders for just $60 annually. Until now, thought leaders relied on a good old boy network to disseminate their ideas. With A4A, I'm a reporter with 30 years of experience covering wealth management, and I'm picking the best ideas to bring to you, cutting down the noise to give you what's really important. A4A has the privilege to empower Fritz Meyer, Bob Keebler, and other thought leaders to capitalize on their intellectual property while cutting out the middlemen. So those thought leaders were helping them keep most of the revenue earned on their ideas, on their IP, on their lessons. Now, if A for A users want more content and ideas about it from a particular thought leader or on a topic, you're going to get it. It's all publicly reported in the comments after the weekly webinars, the reviews from members. So it's very transparent. This schematic illustrates the big picture, what it really means to you. In short, what's happening is A for A creates these weekly webinars then Advisor Products turns that information, that knowledge from thought leaders into videos, articles, tweets on social media, and most importantly, it's going to turn it into email newsletters, enabling you to measure the results in constant contact. Advisor Products with constant contact gives you a marketing funnel, which is sometimes called inbound marketing, article marketing, or content marketing. Constant Contact with Advisor Products provides you an easy way to use a proven method for converting contact into leads and leads into assets under management, and it is all measurable. We already have statistics based on universally accepted key performance indicators of email marketing that show that Advisor Products and Constant Contact integration 
is yielding open rates nearly double the industry average. Email key performance indicators should be a familiar concept to investment advisors. Email KPIs are like benchmarks that advisors use to measure investment performance. Constant Contact publishes email KPIs across 38 types of small businesses, including financial advisor. Advisors using advisor product with Constant Contact have an open rate nearly 100% higher than the average advisor who uses Constant Contact. Those results are based on the initial experience of just a few advisors that are using the new integration because we just launched it. So I've got five advisors that we looked at their email KPIs. As Constant Contact now begins to show you how to refine your list and improve on these results, these initial results, we expect we're going to be able to improve significantly on what is already double the average open rate. Now here's a look at the new advisor sites back office. What you see is the back office now. This is what you get when you upgrade. Let's say that you want to send an email newsletter from here. You're, you log into the, what's the back office, it's called FACS now, and you just touch or click the email newsletter icon and build your email newsletter. By the way, everything that we're doing now, from the back end here to your website that clients look at and Advisor Vault, all of it is coded now using HTML5. So all of it is mobile friendly. So it all gets displayed automatically, elegantly, on any device. Now when you click on email newsletter, you're then asked to submit a title and a subject line for this edition of your email newsletter. That text box below here, at the bottom of the slide, it could be used to insert your own content at the top of the email campaign. We've published 17 tutorials on YouTube about how to use the whole dashboard. It's a total of 20 minutes in length. Now there's a three and a half minute segment that guides you through inserting your own article at the top of this email campaign that we're showing you. And that allows you to distinguish your article, if you follow those directions, three and a half minutes, very specific, allows you to distinguish your article from advisor product content by adding a byline atop the newsletter with your article and personal column, let's say. But for this demonstration, we're going to keep things simple and we're just going to build an email newsletter with advisor products content and no contribution by you. The easiest thing possible. Here you're going to check off up to five articles. Then over here you're going to click on the preview email button. Now when you do that, it's going to give you this email newsletter that you'll see pop up and it really does look great. I'm going to turn it over now though to Anna Maria Soriano now who's going to show you. She's from Constant Contact. And she's going to show you how to send your email campaign and analytics on it and talk about some of the best practices that your coach is going to call you about and work with you on. Anna Maria Soriano, does everyone who says your name feel like I do, like, like sing an opera? You got that right. Let me tell you right now, it's, uh, I've heard it in many different ways, but nothing flows better than Anna Maria Soriano. So if you feel like singing, go right ahead. Uh, beautiful, thank, beautiful you, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, you being here today, Andy, and everyone on the call. As he had said, my name is Anna Maria Soriano with Constant Contact. And um, really thrilled that, first of all, this integration happened and that uh, Andy and the back end folks are able to give you articles that are pre written. And you saw how quickly with, uh, what, what Andy did, he selected which articles he wanted to use, it populates into the account and can easily be sent out from there. What we're looking at on my screen here is within a Constant Contact account. For those of you that may not be familiar with us, I know a lot of folks have used us in the past, but if you're not familiar with us, I would be logged in here on the Home tab within Constant Contact. And what I'm going to show you today is, first of all, um, how to get your contacts into Constant Contact, those folks that you're going to be sending to. So I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to hover over this contacts area to the right. I'll click it and we will look at different ways that you can add contacts into Constant Contact. Now the key here is, and what makes this such a powerful tool, is that everybody doesn't have to go in one lump sum list, if you will. The power of our tool that really sets us apart from sending emails out through your own email product is that you can do very powerful marketing things, if you will, like segmenting your contacts, creating different lists, sending folks information based on what they're interested in or you think that they're interested in. And we'll take a look at some of those reports, like seeing who clicked on what link. 
that way you know that they're interested in something and being able to move those folks based on where they clicked into their own list so you can target them with that information specifically. So that's how powerful of a tool this is, much more than just a tool to send out some emails. So let's take a look at this screen. I mentioned segmenting and targeting and not necessarily putting anybody, everybody in one list and sending everybody the same information. So let's take a look at how to go about doing that. We have two ways to sort your contacts. And sometimes when you're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to upload addresses and get them in here or type them in, you want to set your lists up, your email lists that you want to separate ahead of time. So here on the left hand side we will click that plus sign to be able to create a new list. So maybe you will say here new uh, clients and that's going to be a list of folks that you're going to send information to because they're relatively new. So as you can see I now have a list for that. Another way to be able to segment your contacts is with tags. And when we look at the contacts you'll be able to see that you can tag each individual contact separately so that later you can sort them as you can see, I put some birthday months in here so that if I had a contact and I tagged it December, I would have everybody sorted already in a tag and be able to send them happy birthday from uh, or something to that effect. So this is great ways and tools that you can use to really pinpoint what you're sending to who. At the top of the screen here, we have that option to add contacts. Let's look at a couple of different ways that we can do that. Here, if you wanted to add them individually, you have that option to add a new contact. Simply fill out the form and here's where you can start to add your tags. People can be tagged more than, uh, more than once. So if there's a couple of things here like December birthday, um, new uh, investor, that sort of thing, you can tag them here as well. So that would be how to add individually. Very easy program to uh, mani manipulate and get information into. You can add multiple contacts simply by selecting that. Email address, first name, last name, I highly recommend that you take in telephone. Uh, if you can see information and who, you want to have that information handy, you can bring in multiple columns as well. Most of you may be exporting out of other programs and then importing into Constant Contact. And that can be done from a file, similar to an Excel spreadsheet uh, or a what we call CSV file. So I've chosen from a file probably very familiar uh, button pushing as to what you're doing now. You're going to click, choose a file, find your spreadsheet, and you'll upload it all into Constant Contact that way and labeling your columns as well. So other options in here to do that would be uh, we have apps that you can actually have pre-designed if you needed to move them in. If, for example, you had some uh, contacts in other programs you can actually bring them in this way as well. So if you had some contacts in QuickBooks, for example, you could download a little program, put a, uh, a button on your QuickBooks and move them in directly, or Outlook if you had contacts in there. These are integrations with these products as well that uh, are really great to be able to have that option to do. So we are going to assume that that email is created. We added our contacts in. When you go to add them in, it will ask you which list do you want to put these on and simply check the box and it comes right in there. So looking at the home page here, this is an email I've created within Constant Contact and I'm going to show you how easy it is to schedule this to go and then we're going to take a look at the very powerful reporting that comes back after. So on my home page, which I've selected here, I'm going to have an email here that I've sort of simply put together. It's a blank email. Uh, but just to give you an idea in terms of demonstration, we'll assume we're going to be scheduling this email from Constant Contact to go out, if you've chosen one of our, our templates in here as well. You would then have the option to preview your email here. You saw you can do that on your end as well uh, from within FACS. But here we will click Continue. When we click Continue, you now have the option to schedule the email to go within Constant Contact. This is our schedule screen here. So my subject line is not created. That would be something you would do prior to. But you'd have your subject line and you're going to select which list or lists that you want to send to. So simply click the plus sign. I have a test list in my account here, which I will select. You can even add more contacts here and click Save. 
and you've now selected the list that you're going to send to. Uh, as well in here, you can see and tweak the from name, the from email address, and while we're here and talking about subject line, whether you're creating on the FACS side or here within Constant Contact, quick overview of best practices. Your subject line should be highly recognizable coming from you, you and your organization, your business. Remember, this can make or break the open rate that you saw there. If people don't recognize in those three to five seconds that we're all looking down our long list of emails and know it's you and know who it's coming from in your company, they're going to do what people do and you do and I do, delete. You have to catch them here. Your subject line is so important to your email. Should you go to your browser and type in there subject lines for emails, you're going to get all kinds of information. There are do's, there are don'ts. Stay away from all capitals. Stay away from lots of punctuation. Do a little homework. Get smart about this. Your articles are already written, so the key here for you is to get strategic. And think about that. Look at your junk folder. What do you see in there? Those are bad subject lines more than likely. You've seen them, right? I have too. So learn from what you're doing in your daily work, looking at your own inboxes. Check some do's and don'ts. Does the subject line really define what's in the email? So start looking at things this way so that you can really get great at making that open rate soar. I can tell you horror stories of people. I've been here at Constant Contact for over eight years. My dear friend opened an account with a salon and day spa locally just outside Boston, where I'm located right now. She started a new online business under a different company name didn't identify herself in her subject line. Normally she gets huge open rates, way above average. You know, it's a salon, the clients love her, they want to know what's going on, the coupons, this and that. No idea who that email came from. She not only got a terrible open rate by that little mistake that she made, she got spam complaints. So very important, I like to stress that. Take some time, learn, your, learn the do's and don'ts, and keep an eye on what you're seeing coming in. The from name portion of your email should also include your company name. Not necessarily Mary Smith. No, it's from Mary Smith, Anna Maria. No, you want to make sure that this also displays your company name. Look at your inbox. What do you see in that inbox? Does it say, does it display your subject line and the from name only? These are your two opportunities to be identified. If they don't know Mary Smith particularly, you don't want to put her name in there. You want to put the company name. You or does it display the subject line and the from email address? My outlook here, all I see is the subject line and the from name. Some of my uh, AOL accounts and my old Yahoo accounts, I will see the subject line and the from email address. So start to, start to uh, pay attention there, see how that's going. All right, so now we will assume that we have uh, this email ready to go. I will now click the Schedule button. You have a couple of options within Constant Contact. What you can do is send now, or you can send later. Now, there's another art to that. When's the best time to send emails out? You know, back in the day here at Constant Contact, four, five, six years ago, before uh, these, these devices we hold in our hands that we call... <clears throat> smartphones. I don't know how smart I feel at 2 a.m. when I'm hovering over my eyes open and I grab it. But we were, not, we were saying it those years ago, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, between like 11 and 3.30. Why? Well, and if you're sending to businesses, that's probably still a good uh, theory. Why? Because, well, you know, Monday mornings, if inboxes are flooded, right? We know that. And as you go throughout the day, people are cleaning up their inboxes. So a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, around 11, your email email's going to pop right in there, right? You're going to get the top billing that way in the inbox. That's what you want to strive for. Or you can schedule to go later. You can schedule these in advance, if you like, within Constant Contact. So you have lots of options there. The best thing that I can tell you is to measure and see where you're getting the best results based on when you send. Some people get so strategic, they'll take their list, they'll split it up into two. In marketing, we call that A-B testing. And they'll say, oh, I'm going to send this one on Tuesday at 11. But many people are really sitting back, kicking and going through their emails on, on Sundays. Where am I getting the better results? So these are the strategic tips I'm going to give you because creating your email is not going to take you time because it's all done pretty much for you, right? 
this is where you're going to really make an impact. So think about those things. But I will say OK and send now, and I want to talk about reporting right now because this is what makes this such a powerful tool. So I'm going to go to emails on top. As you can see, we are now scheduled to go. I go back to the home page. That email, as you can see, is now scheduled. And we want to take a look at the reports that would come back after that email goes out. You will get a confirmation email telling you your email has launched, and then you can go in and kind of see what happens, which don't say I didn't warn you is highly addictive. I'm going to show you a button in here where you can see those reports coming in throughout the day, and uh, you'll find yourself hopping in there just out of curiosity. Okay, so I click that email tab, and I will say reports. We will come to our reporting section here. And this is where it gets exciting. Now, you'll have a graph here. Mine is kind of flatlined, but very alive here. <laughs> Constant contact. And it'll tell you how your emails are trending over time, which emails you've sent and how they've been opened and that sort of thing with the graph above. But as I click down here, this is where the fun begins. You can see the date you sent that email out. You can see the names of the email that you've been sending, who you sent it to. As you can see, these are going to my test list. Which emails? bounced back is undeliverable. I love this feature. Why? Because you know, if you're sending to a group of people at once, chances are you're going to have some bad email addresses, right? And what usually happens? They flood your inbox. Undeliverable email, undeliverable email. And you're like, oh my god, how do I manage all of these things? We're going to sort them all in your account right here. And as you can see, these are hyperlinked. You can drill in here and see which emails bounced back is undeliverable. Maybe it's a typo. You can fix them. Or you can remove them. So we give you that option to sort them all here for you. Spam reports. Now, I've got to tell you, spam is a four-letter word at Constant Contact. It's a four-letter word in the email industry as a whole. And if you didn't know this, there are laws against spamming folks. Not only is it bad, um, people, nobody wants to get email from folks they don't know, they don't open them, but it also puts a negative out there about your business. So we do require that you keep your email addresses that you're sending to strictly to folks that you have a business relationship with. That's what the law says and that's what you need to do and those are our policies. So I want you to resist the urge of thinking about shoving as many email addresses in here as you can because it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of your list. So keep that in mind. It's really not intended to be a blast like you would do a direct mail piece. This is a different sort of a beast here and you're going to get the best results that way. How did I feel when I got the email from the furniture store I never walked into? I was pretty upset. I felt violated. You don't want that either going out, that feeling about your company. Opt-outs. In keeping you compliant with those anti-spam laws, you must provide an unsubscribe option when you're sending out your emails. And here at Constant Contact, we're keeping you compliant with those laws here by having a safe unsubscribe button on the bottom of every email. So we've got you covered. If they unsubscribe, we've also got you covered because we're going to make sure they don't get any future emails. So a uh, pretty cool feature. Now your open rate. This is a very high rate because I only sent to my five test uh, email addresses. Normally, you might see your 30s or you saw the averages in your, in your field, 28%, I believe is what it said. And this is a pulse also. This, I have to tell you, is not an exact science. And it's nothing that Constant Contact can control. Your opens are based upon people seeing images and within the email. And if they're not seeing images, then this is, is not going to display in their open. And that's okay. So know that this is a pulse and know that whatever number you're seeing here in actuality is higher. So we saw your averages and so far you folks are blowing it away. It's great. Your clicks, these are links that you've placed within your email very powerful, easy to create, read on, click here, that sort of thing. You can see who clicked on what link and as I said, get, as we say here in Boston, get smart about that. <laughs> Make sure that you're using those, the, this particular column very wisely by sorting and placing those emails that folks who clicked into their own list, as I mentioned earlier and sending them relevant information. Who forwarded your email on would be here as well and here 
Yes, it's that highly addictive button. I call it, I call it anyway. It's the refresh button. And in live time throughout the day, you're going to see how your email is trending. So it's a cool feature. I believe I'm going to now toss it back to you folks. And I know that uh, Andy needs to go over a few more things there as well. There we go. And um, we'll take some questions at the end. One important point I really want to stress before we take questions, the, the reason that most advisor marketing technology initiatives fail is because getting advisors, getting people to use a new piece of technology, a new system habitually requires changing behavior. So you wind up, you buy stuff, we all do, with the best of intentions about using them. And then, because it's so difficult to change your habits, you lose interest and you never adopt and eventually you know, your exercise machine comes a place to hang your clothes. Constant contact is like a Trojan horse that's going to make email marketing best practices habitual. Bundling constant contact with advisor product, when I say it's like a Trojan horse, it unleashes constant contact's army of coaches along with training videos and a stream of guidance about email marketing best practices. And that, that, that attacks your inertia. The Financial Advisor Communication System, FACS, is marshalling Constant Contact's unique ability to drive usage, which is evidenced in its 600,000 customers. It engages you. That's what they do. The personal coaching program, which makes Constant Contact different from any other email marketing campaign platform, ensures that you're actually going to use this one. And it's going to make FACS the most successful marketing program that you've ever tried. OK, that said. Let's go to some questions. Andy, you have totally focused on content marketing and not said anything about Advisor Vault. Should I be worried? Don't think you need to be worried. What you're seeing is the Advisor Vault client dashboard, and that's being added incrementally in pieces. The first piece, the portfolio reporting data, that interface where you start getting portfolio reporting data is going to be in uh, October, the end of October. Then end of November, we've got Money Guide Pro, and then end of the year, we've got CRM systems feeding their data, Redtail, and Advisor's Assistant. And we give it in this really, you know, modern interface. So Advisor Vault, yeah, you don't have to worry. I, I didn't mention it because we're really focusing today on the, the content marketing portion of what we're doing. Let's go to the next question. Someone registers at our website. Does the contact automatically get added to Constant Contact? No, you don't do anything, William. We have a, a lead generation button that they click on. And when they click on that lead generation button, it's going to open the, the, uh, the form where they put in their name and they sign up for your email newsletter. Once they sign up over there for your email newsletter, it goes into Constant Contact automatically. You can actually, while we showed you the scheduling and all that, you can actually put FACS on automatic pilot and it's going to automatically generate tweets and, and other content to be changed on your website and then allow you to create the email newsletters whenever you feel the need. Let's see what else we got here. Our biggest push is brand recognition other than the subject line in the email. Can we edit the email to include our logo and links to our website? Absolutely. In, in case it's not clear, actually, the, your brand, your logo is up on top automatically of the email newsletter. Your logo is up across the top, so is your contact information. And that's integral to what we're doing is giving you a customized email newsletter. What if we already use Constant Contact? Will we be able to use our existing account? Can we still use the Constant Contact app? Do we have to change our newsletter template? Ooh, those are detailed questions, Deb. Thank you. Uh, yes, you're going to be able to use your existing account, but there is some work that needs to be done to make that happen. And yeah, you're still going to use the Constant Contact app. And uh, as far as the email newsletter template, we have some email newsletter templates for you that are integrated already and that really look great and that use all the graphics. Best suggestion I would have for you is to use that. Mike is asking, how can I remove a contact from my list if they mark it as spam or does Constant Contact do this automatically? Anna? If someone says this is spam or if someone clicks that safe unsubscribe button, we got you covered in keeping you compliant with those laws is one of the other beauties of, of using Constant Contact. So if they, again, say that it is spam, which you want to make sure you keep that level as low as possible. We monitor spam complaints here at Constant Contact very closely, and we know if people are blatantly spamming by purchasing a list or using a third-party list, it's all against our policies. It's against that anti-spam law. 
we monitor closely. In fact, we close accounts down. So that's the beauty of Constant Contact as well is that because of our anti-spam policies and our strict procedures, we get to the inboxes at almost 100%. I just wanted to throw that in there, and that's why we're so successful. Uh, in answer to the question, once again, we will make sure they get no future emails. They will be uh, stopped from getting any future emails. It will not go out. Even if they're still on your list on the back end, it will not go out to them or if they click that unsubscribe button. Another question here from Jessica. What columns of information must be in the CSV file in order to import contacts into constant contact? Okay, great question. You have the ability to take in just email address if you'd like to. There's no mandatory amount of information as long as you have their email address. But remember, you have reports. So you want to make those as clear as possible. You don't just want to have their email address. You'll be asked which columns you want to bring in when you go to upload the list. So you want to make sure that you have first name, last name, telephone number, if they're clicking on something, and you want to be able to reach out to them. Because, you know, who clicks on what? That's a lead. And that's showing you what they're interested in. So those are why you want to always, those are some of the reasons why you want to take in much more than just your uh, email alone, but you have flexibility there as to what you take in totally. We're, we're about out of time. One, one thing I should cover real briefly, I just want to make sure that you understand there is some urgency to what we're doing here. It's only $1,000 to upgrade through 930. Uh, that's a $1,000 discount. The system costs uh, over platinum, it costs a few bucks more. If you're doing a platinum in an email newsletter, it's really almost the same, $7.50 a quarter. With $7.50 a quarter, you get all the content marketing, all the coaching, constant contact bundled in, all of our social media, the vault as well. Pricing on the interface is, is separate. We'll have more information about that over the next weeks as that gets unveiled for you. Hoping to make that accessible to everybody. That said, please give us a call and let us work with you and get you started. We, we've done one really cool thing recently. We changed our process so that once you upgrade within 48 hours or so, you're actually going to be able to use the benefits of Constant Contact that we talked about today. You're going to have the weekly market update email ready to go in a template, and, and this is all going to happen very quickly after you upgrade. And then you're also going to be able to send email newsletters. So that's a new thing that we want to give you a win right after signing up, and you're going to be able to start using this right away. So Anna Maria Soriano from Constant Contact and all my friends, I just want to thank you all. And to all of my clients who have taken the time to be here, thank you so much. I cherish this opportunity, so thank you again.